Greetings, I am Elder Elect Leah Moore of Victory Christian Ministries and Victorious Christian Fellowship International, where the very Reverend Bishop Roberta E. Moore is our presiding prelate. Victorious Christian Fellowship International is a fellowship comprised of ministries with like-minded faith, looking to build this portion of the kingdom that God has given us with souls who love God and who are willing to work for his glory. Well, guys, guess what? Today is day five. We made it halfway there. We are halfway there. Meaning, now let's be clear. Day five, we are halfway to the 10-day mark. Where we by day 10, we ought to have our minds made up on if we want to actually break the it that is trying to break us. And then we start the work on uh, day 11 all the way through day 40. Okay? Let's have a brief recap. Yesterday, we spoke about break equals do something contrary to an agreement. We were advised to watch what we agree to. Be careful of what and who we give our word to. Because remember, God is not obligated to bless anything that goes against his word. Pray first, respond after. Today, we will tackle what actually happens when something breaks. What actually happens when something breaks. Get in your mind a a mental picture of a, a glass falling on the floor. The moment once that glass make contact with the floor, we're going to talk about what happens there. Point one, we're going straight into the points tonight. Point one. Point one. My computer's trying to give me a hard time, but guess what? Push through until it breaks, right? Point one, something, when something breaks, the physical action of the break causes the thing, the it, To lose its cohesion or to lose its ability to hold on to. I'm going to say that again because this is one of my favorite points thus far. Point one, once something breaks, the physical action of the breakage causes that thing, that it, to lose its cohesion or its ability to hold on to. Listen to me when I tell you this. This is so very important that we understand that. Ephesians 6 and 12 says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. When we do not interfere with the breaking, we put the above scripture into practice. When we interfere, we are physically trying to fight against what we cannot physically fight against. But once we let it break... We realize and we tell the enemy, listen, well, I'm not, I know you're not flesh and blood, but I got something for you. That was Ephesians 6 and 12. Point two, do not interfere with the process. Point two, do not interfere with the process. Psalms 23 and 4 says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. When we give in to fear, we are allowing fear to interrupt the process. Do not interfere with the process. When we try to run from the rod and the staff, we interfere with the process. Do not interfere with the process. Point three, it's just a shadow. What happens when you shine light on a shadow? It disappears. It's just a shadow. Shine the light of Christ and the feeling of death will flee. That's point three. John 8 and 12 says, Then Jesus again spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. The breaking news for tonight is to let it break. Let it break. Let it go. And move on. The breaking news for tonight is let it break. Let it go and move on. Don't interfere with the process. Our words have no power. It is God who has all power. It is God's word that has the power. Remember, it comes with God's word comes with a promise and it comes with power. He knows what is best for us. So let it go. What happens when you hold on to broken glass? You get cut. 
and you bear the unnecessary pain of the breakage that happened. Let it go. It broke. Let it go. Move on. Don't become stagnant. Stagnant things stink. It's noticeable. It's dead. Don't become stagnant. Why? Because you still have work to do. Well, once again, I am Elder Elect Leah Moore of Victorious Christian Ministries and Victorious Christian Fellowship International, where our very Reverend Bishop Roberta E. Moore is the presiding prelate. Stay tuned for the events that we have in store for our 40 Days Until It Breaks movement. Remember, we are on day five. Pages to look out for, Bishop Roberta Moore. She hosts services and calls to Christ, mass calls to Christ, which is so important in this day and time, on her page, Bishop Roberta Moore. We also stream from Victory Christian Ministries, and there will be a stream happening from Victorious Christian Fellowship International. And always remember, breaking news broadcast is streamed from yours truly, Leah Moore's page. If anyone requires prayer or would like to be led to Christ, Please, please, please put that in the comment and I will reach out to you to pray for you and or to lead you to Christ. Once again, this is Leah Moore and this is Breaking News. Thank you and have a good night.